When I was first getting into doing content creation full time, it was about late 2021, early 2022. And this is about my senior year in high school, right after COVID. Um, I had this, this friend group and they're good people in the heart, but the thing about them is they weren't ambitious and they didn't hold themselves to a high regard in the same way how I held myself to a high regard and I had high standards for myself. And for the longest time, I thought I was doing pretty well because I like, let's say, let's say, and this is really bad. Don't fucking compare yourself to other people. Right. But let's say if they were here, I was, I was about here. I was about here. Cause I'm chasing my dreams. I'm doing my shit. And that's fucking awesome. Right. But it wasn't until sometime in that late 2021, <coughs> I started hanging out with other creators, other creators who were doing this shit really full time. And at this moment in time, I was having a lot of self doubt. I was like, damn, is this really something that I can do? Like, is this a real like thing that's possible? Is this actually self sustainable? And it wasn't until I talked with those people and I looked at myself and I, keep in mind, I think I'm right here right now. I start hanging out with these other creators and that's when I realized that my potential is up here. Up fucking here. You can't even see it in this video. My potential is up here. I'm looking at I'm like, damn, I got so much more to go. And at that time that I realized that was, um, was the time that I started distancing myself from those people. And this is again, like, like my final year in high school, this is the time that I should be just like enjoying myself. But at this time, I really prioritized my growth and my potential. And I wanted to be the best version of myself that I could be. And so what I started doing was during those lunch breaks, um, and those like nutrition breaks in between classes, which by the way, let me paint you in, in a picture of like what these people would do. They had this same hangout meetup spot that they'd go to and they would just eat and be on their phones and share memes to each other and joke with each other and nothing. They wouldn't be doing anything crazy. They wouldn't be planning anything crazy. They wouldn't. That's it. That's all they would do. So instead, what I would do is during my lunch breaks, sounds like fucking sounds like some fucking nerdy ass shit, right? But I would go off to another classroom or I would just go off on my own and I would sit there alone and I would read self-development books. Or... I would go over to some grass area under a tree and I would just sit and fucking meditate by myself. <clears throat> and ever since then, when I really started prioritizing what I was paying attention to and who I was giving my energy to, that's when I started seeing some crazy fucking exponential growth. <laughs> And the thing is, is with, with those people too, that, that friend group, like I said, they're, they're good people. They're, they're good in the heart. I know that. Right. But I wanted to help them so bad. I wanted to bring as many as I could with me up there. I would have talks with these people saying, yeah, so like, what, what are you passionate about? What, what do you want to do? Right. And a lot of them just kind of stared at me with that fucking lead, lead paint, fluoride filled stare. Just, oh, I don't really know. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and I realized like, damn, if I keep hanging out with these people, I'm going to be exactly like them. Or at least these people aren't going to push me and help me grow in the way that I want to be. And so today, this week, New Earthlings, um, your, your homework <laughs> is to, uh, if you guys really want a better life for yourselves. I want to encourage you guys to take a close look at your friend groups and I want you guys to take a close look at who you're paying attention to or who, who you're spending your time with. There, there's a saying, if you haven't heard it before, um, you are the sum, you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. And I genuinely believe that to be true. So let's say if, if you got five friends who are working their ass off to be millionaires, who are millionaires most likely you're going to be the six. If you got five people who are spending their time uh, trying to be athletes, most likely you're going to be the six. And the reason why is because I mean, like us as humans, 
psychologically what we need to survive is we need our sense of community. We need our sense, our place to fit in. And I seriously, I guarantee you, if you show me your five closest friends and I could look at every single one of their traits and what they're doing, I guarantee you that I can point out exactly where the fuck you're going to go in life. And so back to what I was saying, right? If you want a better life for yourself, I highly, highly encourage that you look at who you're spending your time with. What are their traits? Like, are, are these traits things that you're, you're proud of? Like, are, are you proud of these friends? And that, that's, that's, that's a big fucking thing that I only learned in the past year. How high my standards should be for a friend group or for just friends in general, right? <clears throat> a lot of the times we hang out with people just because they make us feel not lonely. But the thing is, is you, you deserve so much more than that. You deserve more than just not feeling lonely. I mean, you could easily fill that kind of void up within yourself by learning how to spend time with yourself. And then from there, setting your standards high for your friends as in like, okay, yeah, like who, who, what are the traits of some of my friends that would make me fucking proud? So for example, the, the current friends that I'm with now, and th these are the friends who I eventually found after I stopped spending time with friend group one. For example, these people are, are hardworking. These are people who are, who are constantly thinking about their dreams, who are constantly thinking about uh, where they're going next. These are people who are truly being themselves, not afraid of judgment. And these are people who are, who are having fun, who are chasing adventure. And th those are the shit, that's the shit that really spoke to me. And so I ended up hanging around those people and lo and behold, like that, that's where I am now. I'm constantly thinking about my own dream. I'm not thinking about anything else. I'd like to think I'm, I'm, I'm hardworking and I'm doing the, the fucking things I need to do to, to get to my next step. And I like to think that, that I'm, I'm chasing fun, chasing adventure and, and making the most out of my life because those are exactly my friends. So with that being said, take the time to look at your friend group and choose better people to hang with because they will fucking dictate where you're going in your life. And here, here's something too that, that I really want to like reiterate, right? Yes, you need to be completely selfish. And yes, you need to choose yourself and even cut people off if, if those people are absolutely draining your energy. I know so many people who like, yeah, they're, they're just fucking energy suckers, dude. There, there's some people who, who you spend time with and you, you leave them just feeling drained. But lately, the, the, this past year, this year and a half, I've been hanging out with people who I spend time with them and I come back to, to my bed so fucking motivated, so motivated to, to be a better person and so motivated to, to start taking action towards my next step. Bless you. My girlfriend's back there. <laughs> and, and I do, I do want to say this, right? Just because those people might not have the traits that you're looking for, that doesn't make them bad people. If these people aren't ambitious as you, if these people aren't as willing to learn as you, that's, that's not, that's not on them. Like people are on their own journey at their own time. Don't demonize those people. I mean, those, those the friends that, that I eventually cut off and stopped talking to and stopped hanging with, they weren't good for me, but that doesn't make them bad people. And then secondly, another thing that I want to bring up, right, is, ugh, fuck, yo, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make a drink. There are some people who, and, and I get this, right? You're, you're friends with these people, you have shared experiences with them, and it's scary leaving those people and you want to take them with you, but straight up, yo, like, you can fucking try, but if they aren't inspired and if they're not willing to, to, to grab your hand, you can reach your hand out to them. 
But if they're not going to fucking grab your hand themselves to make that jump and be their best selves with you, you can't force them to do that. And so at that moment, when you're trying to pull them up, up to your level and, and up to what you're trying to do, you're only holding yourself back. And so the best thing that you can do at that time is to be your best self, is to selfishly choose yourself over and over and over again. And when those friends see how far you've come, that will eventually inspire them to be their best selves. And you can help them from there. <clears throat> I'd even like to think that in this current time, I'm evolving at a spot where I'm leaving a lot of my friends. And again, right? Like, no, no fucking bad blood or bad fucking thoughts with them. No bad feelings with them. It's just that where I'm going in life and exactly with what I want to do, these people don't align with it. And if I were to keep spending my time with these people, I'm only going to be holding myself back from my best version of myself. And I will tell you, like, that, that's, that's scary. That, that is scary to, to, to lose that kind of sense of belonging. But again, right? Take this, take this and apply this to however it applies to you. Like, you don't have to, to fucking, like, listen to this. But for me personally, where I am, my most important thing to me is my growth, my mission, and my purpose. And if people are holding that back for me, I have to let that go. I have to let that go because I think I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that I left that on the fucking table and I, and I, I and I, I was too scared and I surrounded myself around the friends that made me feel comfortable. I can't do that. But yeah, so, so right now I'm in a point, I'm in a position where, I mean, fuck, even, even, even with my followers, right? I made so much funny content and that's, that's amazing that I've, that I've, I'm in a position where I still get to do this full time and I have so many people supporting me. But now that I'm moving to, to doing serious content, there's so many people who are going to judge me right now. Who are like, yo, Richard, like go back to being fucking funny, bro. <laughs> it's not that serious, man. <clears throat> but the thing is, is like, this is what really matters to me. This is my truest self and, and I'm really prioritizing my growth right now. And if those people don't want to be part of that, like, fuck those people. They don't have to be part of this. Because what matters to me right now is my growth, my mission, my purpose. <sighs> but anyways, with that being said, let's say, okay, you understand that. You are willing to leave your friends behind to find a better life for yourself and surround yourself around friends who you're actually genuinely proud of. How the fuck do you do that? Because that, that's a, again, that's a hard fucking thing. First thing that I want to say is the content that you watch. I, I, I might have explained this before, but the kind of content that, that you're watching counts too. I mean, if you think about it, right, that friend group, that friend circle, all it is is you're just placing your energy and your attention onto them. And their energy is, is vibrating back and you're receiving that. So wherever you are placing your attention and you are placing your energy, that becomes your environment. So if you're watching content like this, if you're actively seeking out books, creators who are talking about the shit that really resonates with you, that's your first step to building the correct environment. And I think what's cool too, right, is, is when you are following creators or anything like that, if you can immerse yourself in those communities, most likely you're going to find people who are interested in the same shit that you're interested in. And I think that's fucking dope. But secondly, this is uh, something that, that I, I really, really stand by. If you be your most genuine self, there is absolutely no way that you can lose. So what does that mean? If you are interested in self-development, finance, I don't know, business, 
fitness, whatever the fuck it is, philosophy, that kind of shit, you talk about it. You, you, you talk about it and you genuinely put that most vulnerable part of yourself out into the world. And what's going to happen is you will start filtering out the people who you fuck with versus the people that you don't fuck with. If I start talking about art to a hundred fucking people and 99 of them are just like, uh, yeah, I don't know. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Yeah, that, that sucks in the moment. I, Yeah, it fucking sucks. But I say this so much. It is so worth it. It is so worth it to be quote unquote hurt and rejected by 99 fucking people who don't know what you're talking about to find that one person who resonates with you. That will always be something in my book that's so fucking worth it. I mean, you know, I mean... To bring that back to, to my example, I mean, I talked with probably hundreds of people about content creation, self-development, fashion, business, fitness, like, like fucking all that shit, right? <clears throat> and I found so many people who weren't willing to reciprocate that energy with me, who didn't understand the beauty of that to me. But lo and behold, like I find people like, like fucking Justin, dude, who gets that shit. And when you find people like that, I fucking swear it's so worth it. It really is so worth it. And so I hope that, that you can place faith in that, that there is a light at the end of the tunnel from somebody who, who has gone through that themselves, who has gone through all the fucking rejections of people who don't understand what they're talking about. That, that finding that person, you will find that person. You will find the people, you will find the community that resonates with you, that fucks with your most genuine self. And it's so worth it. And then right now, right, I'm in a position where I, I'm, I know a lot of people who talk about more shallow things that don't really matter to me. And again, right, that, like that's not anything on them. Like they're, they're living their best life and that's cool, right? But for me, I, I, I've been finding myself with this deeper purpose of raising the collective consciousness and art and beauty and community and love and respect and kindness. And so lately, that's kind of all I've been talking about. <laughs> and I mean, you, you even see it here on my YouTube channel, like that, that's all I'm fucking talking about, right? And by doing so, by courageously putting my most vulnerable, genuine self out there, I've been weeding out the people who don't matter to me, who aren't going to be part of my life. And I've been finding the people who really resonate with that and fuck with that. And when I look at those people, I can genuinely say that these people are, are, are going to be important parts of my life. And I think that's so cool. So. It's worth it. If, if you're if you're debating whether or not to, to be your most genuine self and, and to put that out there because it's scary from someone who has done it it's so worth it but yeah new earthlings that's that's y'all's uh <laughs> assignment for for this week um think about that think about your environment and who you're spending time with um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting I'm going to Fred again stadium with my girlfriend. See you guys next week. Bye. Mwah.